Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in and being here today. I hope you find these tutorials helpful for you. As you can see, today I'm doing something different. I'm gonna do a short, quick tutorial on how to paint a Christmas tree with ornaments on it. And hopefully that will help you and give you an idea. So it's a specific kind of um, thing that I will be focused on just today. For this example, you can obviously use a canvas or anything you wanna paint on. But I'm using my um, mixed media paper here. Um, it is like wa almost like watercolor paper or it, you could use acrylics on it as well. So that's what I'm using here today and then I've got some palette paper here um, and you could use your palette so um, but I'm using my, my palette paper to, to put paints here and we'll mix a few colors and then um, and then I'll show you how to paint that tree. So today we're going to be using my new 24 set of acrylics which I'm excited about and um, and we're going to use a couple of the colors and I'll show you exactly which colors we're going to use today. So you can use any acrylics you have available but from this set we're going to use titanium white, medium yellow, right here, medium yellow, we're going to use scarlet, going to use hooker's green, I'm going to use Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Lamb Black. So these are the colors we're going to be using. And if I decide to use any other colors, I will show you exactly which one I'm using, okay? So here are the colors again. And for brushes, we're going to use these two blending brushes. I'm going to do, um, they're the same, but I'm going to do a quick background blend so you guys can get a better visual of the Christmas tree, you know. So that's why I'm, we're going to use a quick blend and um, of our background. So we're going to use two of them, and then we're going to use some of these Artist Loft brushes. This is number eight and number four right here. And then any half an inch flat brush you have available. And then any detail brush. Okay. And I am using a palette paper, like I said, right here. And then my palette knife to mix your paint. And then we've got a water jar right here in the corner. We're gonna need. And then of course, if you've got some paper towels to, you know, quickly clean out your palette knife or, you know, dab your brush into paper, uh, that helps a lot so if you have that we need it okay let's go straight to it and start mixing our paint and so first thing we need is titanium white and we're going to create the background scene first okay so we're going to create just a simple uh, light like a light blue going into a darker blue uh, of the sky just and i'm not going to cover everything i'm just going to cover a portion of it because i'm just going to paint one Christmas tree right here with ornaments on it okay so that's the plan and then you can obviously take that and you put it into your painting or um, whatever you're working on but uh, this is how I do it and I hope this will help you so titanium white and let's create a couple shades let's create a, and we're gonna add a little bit um, right here about let's just one thumb amount okay like a thumb amount. I don't want to um, use a lot because we're just gonna and then a little bit smaller cover a little bit of it okay so one thumb amount and then a little bit smaller right here okay um, and then let's add Cerulean Blue okay and let's add a small touch right here okay. very small touch Maybe a little more here, like this. And then, and every time I always close the lid so that it won't dry up. And now let's use Ultramoon Blue and add a little more here. Not on this one, just on this one, like this. Um, so let's quickly mix that with our palette knife. Start from this one and blend it all in nicely okay it's going to give us a nice light blue color 
nice light blue almost like a beautiful ocean color right we, and if it's a little bit different that's okay um, this is just a quick background blend so you guys can see the Christmas tree stand out a little better it's gonna be outside so there you go quick blend right there and now our second color it's gonna be darker as you can see and I think that's good enough right there we're just gonna use two today two colors There you go. And like I said, I always like to, you know, clean my palette knife so it won't dry with a paper towel really quickly. Don't spend too much time. Just clean it like this and now you don't have to worry about having it dry. All right, so we got two piles here. We're going to pick up one of our blending brush and it doesn't really matter which one, so you can pick any of them. And I'm going to dab it in the water. There's our water right here. I'm going to dab it all the way, right? Dab it all the way and then squeeze it out so it won't be too much water but you still want it a little you know damp and wet so squeeze it out and you have a nice damp brush and let's pick up our first light color pick it all up like this right and let's just cover it right in here let's cover it like this I'm gonna dab my brush just a tip in the water pick the rest of it you can see I didn't take too much water and I'm gonna put it in like this right it doesn't have to be perfect something like that all right now I'm gonna dab just a tip small amount in the water again and pick up my last color right here and put it all over like I said I'm not covering everything so I'm gonna do that and go up a little bit higher maybe stop right there that's good enough Okay, and blend it all in lightly. Don't focus too much on making it perfect. Something like that, all right? So now I'm gonna leave my brush in the water, pick up my next blending brush and work dry and lightly start from the lightest area and blend everything in um, smoothly from lightest to darkest. Now this is supposed to be like a night scene, so it doesn't have the blend doesn't have to be perfect, but you could totally do it perfect, and it sometimes works better also painting, of course, on the canvas, but this works as well. As you can see, I'm lightly pressing and swirling the paint upwards. Okay, and if you see some of the hairs uh, start to, you know, come off, this is natural. Every brush will do that. Um, don't worry about it. Don't try to pluck it out while the paint is wet. I'd rather recommend you keep on blending everything in. Once you're happy with your blend, you know, um, then you can, once the background is dry, then you can just pluck it out very easily and doesn't damage nothing. So a quick blend right here. Obviously, we could have made it even better, but um, it works better on the canvas, but this is fine. Um, we're we're going to quickly dry this out, and then once this is dry, we will just I'll show you how to pluck these out real quick and then um, the tree is going to be right in the middle so it's going to cover most of the background anyway so we just wanted a simple blend there okay okay you could see it's a rough blend our background is almost dry pretty much dry um, and I easily just rubbed off the some of the loose hairs and it came out easily and let's continue drawing uh, the shape of our tree and so I'm going to pick up my lamb black first and create you know not that much maybe this much and then maybe a little darker here right a little more here I mean and then hookers green and we're gonna mix it in with our first color right in here like this maybe even put it some in here very small amount okay I always like to mix my black uh, with other colors 
and I rarely use black straight out of the tube. I like to mix it with other colors. Um, but um, here you have this green, let's hooker's green and a little bit of black. Let's quickly mix that. Um, maybe even, I don't want to waste paint, so I'm going to take part of this um, blue, right? And mix it in here. It's totally fine. We want a, a nice lighter green color. But it's still really, really dark. Okay. So I'm going to take all of it, whatever is left of my paint. It doesn't really matter. Um, and you could see the color is like a green, lighter green, you could see, right? Right there. And then this one's going to be even darker, okay? So we created two shades, one a little lighter than the other. Like that. That's good enough right there. Again, I'm going to clean my palette knife like this. And now I'm going to pick up my half an inch brush dab it in the water and draw out, using my darkest color is fine, draw out the shape of my tree. Very easy, this part's simple because a lot of it's gonna be covered. But let's just go up about this high, yeah? How about that? And go straight down. So that's the shape of our tree, right? Um, so it's just gonna be, you know, something like this. So I'm quickly sketching, covering this part because it's going to be covered in dark anyway and with a lot of details and things. So don't focus on trying to, you know, make it perfect yet. We just want to create a shape, right? And how thick we want our tree to look. So, so I'm going to cover everything, right, quickly, all the way up until this point maybe. So something like this, right? We have a quick sketch in the shape of our tree, right? Now that's going to be easier to, the more you add, you know, de little details, it's going to be easier to um, see, um, you know, what you need to add next. So something like this, right? And let's just say our, our horizon line is going to be somewhere in here and fade out right there something like that all right okay so now what we're gonna do is put our brush in the water and now I'm gonna use my um, number eight brush dab it lightly in the water and you can see I use paper towel to dry it out a little bit but it is damp I'm gonna use the remaining uh, some of this black darkest color and now I'm gonna dab it in take away a little bit of the um, of the sharpness of that brush. Now my paint's still a little wet, right? But I'm dabbing lightly, I'm not pressing too hard. Okay. And I'm adding it more in the middle. So it doesn't have to be perfect everywhere. Maybe some are sticking out, some branches are sticking out like this. Maybe this one's sticking out a little further like that. And then this one as well. I'm creating a little bit of my, of the shape of my tree a little bit better. Lightly dab it, don't press too hard. Pick up more of this color, cover. something like that really quickly all right
right. Here you have it, a quick, maybe even come out here a little further. Like this, something like that. All right, we have a quick sketch. Now, what we're gonna do is, before we start adding too much detail of, of the R tree, we're gonna um, clean your brush, clean the darks, and dry it out like this by dabbing it into your paper towel. And then we're gonna use this green right here and quickly randomly add it everywhere. Spread it out evenly, you know. You could see them going like this more. But this creates a nice, this green color creates a nice, um, you know, shade in our tree. So it won't be so plain and flat looking. And I'm not sure if you could see it on the camera, but in, and when you look at it in person up close, you could start to see these little details and little different shadows and different shades of your um, tree. So randomly add it like this. And we're gonna probably come back to this, these colors later, but that's good enough for now, all right? Because we're gonna add more detail right now. So now I'm gonna add some snow and start to shape up a little bit better of our tree. Okay, I added a little more white here and then white and a touch of cerulean blue, very small amount, and we're gonna quickly mix that in. It's gonna give us a light blue color, right? And this will be just white. This is for the snow. So now I'm gonna clean my palette knife again. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean out my brush here lightly you know dab it lightly go back and forth um, and usually if I'm painting something like a bigger picture I will obviously clean out my brushes and so they won't be in the water too long um, and take care of it you know the longer you take care of your brushes the longer it's gonna last um, but this is a quick sketch so I'm not worried about it all right so first thing what we're gonna do is start with this color right and we're gonna add some snow for example, let's just add snow right in here. Lightly add some snow maybe in here. Maybe there's some right in here. Create little ones and I'm barely pressing. I'm not adding too much. Maybe there's ones that are coming out like this. And then, you know, little ones in here on top and I'm barely pressing and then you want to you know create some little thicker than the others right like for example this one is nice um, and then have this be in here a little more and then create some in here lightly dabbing it back and forth barely pressing and using one color first so now here I want to create some that are going down because the snow is weighing these branches down and lightly bring it down like this don't overdo it and don't add too much but um, Totally up to you how much you want snow on your trees. Okay, maybe there's some red in here. Falling down. Some heavier ones right in the bottom.
you can see I'm lightly dabbing it and my brush is creating beautiful um, shapes um, of the snow and also like if you you know added a little too much and you don't like the way it looks you can come back and clean out your brush and use the darks to cover some of the areas um, that you want covered more So we got all our blue in like this. Make our snow thicker and play around with your shape. Remember, some the reason why we added some on front going down is because you want it to look more like curvy, 3D, right? You don't want it to look too plain. So now I'm going to use a little bit of white, and I don't need to clean my brush. Um, white straight out of the tube and let's add a little bit of white on some of them not everywhere but on some of them lightly go over it'll really start to make your snow stand out a little more. Very lightly, I'm always pressing very lightly. And I'm not gonna put it too much on the bottom because um, I like it a little darker maybe a little bit but not too much something like this let's move on I'm gonna quickly dry this out so I won't smear a lot of it and then we're gonna add a little bit of the details so while it is drying I'm gonna add a little bit on my snow up here remember this area so I'm gonna start with the lightest with the white and and quickly randomly add some of the highlights in the background really quick so you guys can get a better idea what I'm doing so something like this let's pretend it's in the back and then there's some lighter ones right in here and then let's take part of this dark color maybe mix it in to create a gray color like this with the blue and let's create some shadows from this tree Maybe there's some in right in here. Okay, something like that. Now we're not focused too much on adding our background. We're focused on our tree. So let's use a little bit of the black. And cover part of this. Okay. All right. 
So now I'm going to pick up my detail brush and start to shape out our tree a little better. So I'm going to dab it in the water, right, and use this dark, it doesn't matter, maybe even this, mix it around, um, doesn't really matter which one, as long as it's a darker color. And we're going to go back and add our branches of our tree. So for example, like I'm going to add one that's a little, you know, coming out like this and then And then maybe there's a couple in here very lightly create like little branches from your tree little details these little details will really make your painting stand out for example I'm gonna add one that is right in here maybe it comes out like this some in here I'm really starting to shape my tree a little better right so always dabbing my brush in the water going in and um, adding little little branches so I want to make some of these branches go a little further out Maybe this one goes in here. Maybe even go in inside and you know shape out your snow part of them. Not too much. But there's some area like for example split this like this maybe bring this down a little bit like that it'll give it a little um, depth and quickly add your little details So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, same idea, but on the other side. Now I'm going to pick up my number four artist lot brush and dab it in the water and create a little bit of snow reflecting on some of these. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but we want to make it a little more detailed right something like this so you can get a better idea maybe add some snow in here a little more brighter ones this and shape out some of the snow a little more once you are done with adding the details you can go back and you know lightly dab a little bit of snow on these br little tiny branches you added not too much though don't overdo it I like the details of them so I don't want to cover too much Something like this. Okay.
Okay, so now we're gonna do the fun part. With our detail brush, we're gonna squeeze out the other colors. Let's squeeze out some yellow, right? And then let's add some red, so scarlet red, like this. And now we're gonna play around and add some color. And so first thing with a detail brush, we're gonna dab it in the water, clean it up, and we're gonna add white first. And I wanna add some ornaments glowing right in here, right? So I'm gonna add this area like that. And quickly, you don't even need to clean your brush. With yellow, go around where you added the white, go around lightly. Lightly add that yellow in there. Don't be afraid of it. So I'm going to add a little bit of red, dab my brush in the water, very small amount, not too much, and right underneath this red, let's add a little bit of orange color, like that, randomly. Okay, so I'm going to clean my brush and add a little more white right in the center. That's where the light is. Let's add another one right in here, a smaller one. Yellow, same idea. Add yellow, I'm gonna dry it out a little and add more yellow and go around it. Maybe they're about to touch like this. Okay, clean my brush, add a little more white right in the center, and then I'm going to clean my brush again and use a little bit of red and go around and add some color after the yellow. a little more yellow strong yellow okay I'm gonna do a few more of these colors maybe one right in here so start off with white and go to the yellow and go around the yellow or the white And also make sure your background is dry so that it'll um, you're not gonna smear in with the background color. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of the white, add it right in the middle. We want that to be the brightest. And then use part of the red and add the red around. something like that. Let's add another light right in here, a small one. And you can add as much as you want. Totally up to you. I'm going to add some light blue ones. So let's use our 
Cerulean blue straight out of the tube. And let's add it in with our white. And it's going to be hard to tell because we added a lot of snow. So I'm going to actually add a little bit of the yellow so that it can kind of glow. some in here maybe one in here I'm gonna use a little bit of red let's actually I decided to add a little bit of orange to our color for fun so I'm gonna add some orange because I want it a little more colorful. And you can mix and create your own orange, but this is sometimes faster to, and the way you do that is just play around with yellow and a little bit of red, and you can create your own orange. But I want to, um, sometimes this is faster to just have an orange color. I'm going to add another one right in here. Maybe some right in here. Straight out of the tube. We want to create some light. Let's add a, a little bit of yellow. Add one right in here. brush, add a little bit of white in the center. Some more yellow around the white. And it's just back and forth. some orange some white to make it stand out Some red, red glow. So of course you go back and forth and make sure your center is always the brightest. Always the brightest, okay? Make sure your brush is dry. Add a little too much water there and then go back and forth by adding 
as much as you want orange red wherever you want it right and you can spend a lot of time detailing everything and going back and forth with your dark green here and black and you know filling in some of the areas um, if you wanted it to um, look a little more sharper detail brush add some some lines reflecting some branches on the ground who knows And then some with our number four brush, clean it out and quickly add maybe a little bit of orange and yellow and add it some on the snow lightly and then maybe with the finger clean it out. That's the reflection from the light. It doesn't have to be perfect. Lightly on some of the areas. All right, I'll be done for today. You can go on and on detailing as much as you want, correcting things. You know, if you don't like something, you go back with a darker color or with the white color and, you know, add it more and more. And that's what's fun about acrylics is once it's dry, you can keep on adding and changing and making it more. The more details you add, the more interesting I think it looks. So totally up to you, but this is a quick sketch of our Christmas tree um, with some ornaments on it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So please let me know what you thought down below in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Take care and God bless.